What's up YouTube? So we're finally out here. We're going to test my hoist that I put on top of the uh, garage. You can't see it. We're going to check, walk in here and check it out. But we're going to lift this ski off the dolly and we're going to drop it onto the trailer here. So let's get in here and get this going uh, real quick. This is an awesome little tool I bought from uh, Harbor Freight. I can, using this, I can wheel these trailers, these jet skis, even my boats over here. Uh, I'm limited in my area space up here because I live on the side of a hill. But this is uh, huge as far as make the ease of uh, moving these trailers and jet skis around. Anyway, so let's get back in here into the garage and uh, get started with this. But let me do an update real quick. This is kind of a, a combination jet ski and garage hoist video because I have reinforced my hoist. And here's why. On my video, the installation of this thing, I purchased, if I get the camera up here, five brackets, if you can see them across the top. Um, I used 516, three inch 516 bolts. I had five brackets going across the top up here. Um, the brackets had a weight rating or have a weight rating of 1200 pounds. So we're good there. And the uh, bearing wheels had a, for, I've got two of them. And they each were 740 pounds a piece weight limit, so we're good there. The, only, the weakest spot is the bolts going into this beam up here. And so I think it was Alan commented his only concern about what I've done was with the bolts hold. Now these bolts that I put in originally for this 5 16 I think had a ceiling weight limit of 250 pounds. So you see they were far less than any of the other hardware that I had. So I went and purchased four more brackets. So now you can see I've got nine brackets going across holding this um, uh, Charlie rail in. And I also had another commenter, I don't remember his name, who reminded me that I did not put the bolts through the brackets. If you can see up here, to keep those bracket arms from spreading out on the uh, pull or the weight. So, so I've added brackets, I've added the bolts through the brackets, and I also upgraded on the four new ones that I bought, I upgraded to, to three inch, three eighths lag bolts for added uh, strength on this thing. So, why? This. The last thing I want to do is um, tear up the top of my garage, obviously, and drop one of these things uh, onto the concrete here. So I have not used this hoist since I have done the upgrade, just got all that done. And I have strapped my uh, jet ski up here and we are going to actually test this thing out. I did use this hoist and I did try to film it for one of my jet ski videos when I put the engine back into this jet ski over here. But as usual, my GoPro cut off and really didn't get anything. But it was so much easier dropping the engine with the hoist uh, down into this jet ski, lowering it just to the uh, height that I needed and I could uh, connect all of my oil lines, water lines, my starter cable, ground cable, everything I was able to connect and then lower it down onto the mounts and it was perfect. So today we're going to do the other thing, the other the reason I bought this is to move these jet skis around from trailer to trailer and from trailer to dolly and vice versa back and forth. So without uh, talking any longer, let's see now this real quick guys, um, don't give me a hard time on this setup. I have, I'm experimenting. Uh, I did buy some straps. I've got one sitting on top of the old dryer over there, but it's a 20 foot strap. Um, I thought this would be better. 
I did buy two six foot straps that I used for the engine uh, and the ski behind me, but six foot straps would, would not fit under the ski and come up here to the hoist. So I'm gonna try my ratchet straps and we're gonna see how that works. I hope that I've got the, they're spaced enough. I hope I've got it centered so that the, you know, we're not, the weight is not shifting back and forth. We're gonna go really slow. And like I said, this is uh, just a test run and I'm sure there's gonna be improvements to come. So, all right, let me set this down. I'm gonna turn the GoPro on and let's see if we can get that jet ski lifted we're going to lift it we're going to roll it back with the roll that was the reason i bought this 10 foot rail and so we're just going to pick it up move it over and hopefully drop it down on this trailer all right let's go All right, guys, so that was pretty sketchy there, as you saw. So I've got to uh, do a better job. Maybe I got maybe I work it out to use these bigger straps that I've got here to uh, be able to level this better. Um, since there's so much weight in the middle and at the back of the ski, I didn't think I would actually get uh, front end heavy, but. Uh, I did and there's not a lot of weight there so I wasn't really concerned but as you saw this thing was uh, teetering with the nose down but um, overall I, I felt the hoist and the brackets everything I felt that they were really strong I uh, really wasn't concerned there and um, the only thing it was a little hard to Push, and that's because I couldn't get any really leverage on it because I'm standing beside the ski here kind of reaching over the middle if that's making any sense what I'm saying is it was a little harder to move it down um, over the um, trailer there but uh, it worked and um, that was still easier even with the uh, you know not having this properly centered that was still easier than um, guys doing this any other way. So I'm going to continue this. Like I said, I'll experiment. And uh, as I'm moving forward to make this uh, better, uh, safer, I didn't feel like it was unsafe. Um, I don't know how it looked. I'll check the cameras. But um, even with it tilted forward there, I didn't feel like I was losing it. And I think it's because all the weight is really in the middle and in the back with the jet pump. So um, it may have looked really sketchy there, but it didn't feel as uh, unsafe or whatever as it may have looked. So I'll look at the video and we'll check this thing out. But, so the only thing now is I gotta fish the um, straps from out from under that thing, should be any problem. But uh, all right, I appreciate you joining me on this thing now. Um, I'm going to be learning more and more about how to use this thing, use it properly, use it, uh, you know, obviously a safer and better ways than this. But this is perfect. Um, you know what, I may, I don't know if I'll close the video here or not because my next step is to get this onto the ski to this side. So what I may do is just kind of pull my trailer out with my little dolly up front move it over bring it in more over this side of the garage and let's pull this dolly out over here and do the
right guys so what do you think real quick though again this has been a great tool to move all these things around get this trailer in here and I'm going to use it to get these jet skis out of here and uh, hook it to the back of the SUV but if you could tell from the GoPro this one was a much easier so I spread the um, the straps further a little more up to the front a little more to the back and guys this one was balanced again I don't know if you could tell from the GoPro video but this one was really balanced much easier and much quicker so man this just worked out perfect and I hope the video picked it up I hope the GoPro didn't shut off uh, during the middle of that but uh, anyway so these things are on and uh, couldn't be more pleased the hoist perfect I mean there was no you know dreaded cracking or I didn't feel it pulling down you know it, just, it felt really really solid and um, the only thing I would say is the weight of these skis it made it a little harder to move the um, hoist back and forth but uh, it it rolled but it was just a little harder obviously with the amount of weight on it I'm not sure how much these weigh but I think the bigger ski here, I think it's around 600 pounds. And I think the GTS is maybe just under 600 pounds. So um, anyway, it's not the biggest skis we have, but those are about average. So um, anyway, worked out great. And you know, if I don't break something, just real quick, every time I come out here, if I don't break something, I guess I'm not working, but I totally just told my uh, tail light there this happens all the time look I've got up here I've got I think three tail lights in there so I keep spares because I do this all the time of uh, trying to move skis from trailer to trailer or to a dolly anyway when you shove a dolly or even that front matter another trailer into there I have ended up with a smash lights before so I always keep spare that one I just caught on the uh, edge of the fence bringing it up out of the backyard so I gotta fix that real quick but anyway all right and I'm gonna throw in something else here um, over here I have dismantled a 951 carbureted engine so if you need some parts know someone else that might need some parts just let me know everything is good except the crank is bad I did a video on this I think a year ago uh, bearings are all good except just the one rod bearing and the head here is kind of chewed up um, there so I wouldn't call it good and there's the bad piston that did it but the cylinder jugs here are good shape the sleeves are in good shape here's the piston that would come with it um, and I don't remember I measured it but I, I'm sorry I don't remember if this is standard or if it's been bored but here's the piston that would come with it but everything else is good so I'm gonna see if I can park this stuff out alright so back to these real quick I'm like I said I'm pleased with how this turned out and this is gonna really be a great tool in the coming weeks and months and um, alright so I'm gonna stop the video here guys appreciate you joining me as usual and uh, we will catch you on the next video all right see ya